Hey everybody, day two of our polar bear pictures. Today we are gonna paint the background. We're gonna paint an aurora. Now, the aurora borealis is visible from the Arctic, which is near the North Pole. So countries that can see the aurora borealis are Alaska, Canada, Norway, Russia, Greenland, sometimes Iceland. Um, just recently this year, um, there was an aurora visible in the northern part of the United States, like in Minnesota and Montana. Um, the reason the aurora borealis happens is because solar winds or energy particles from the sun enter our atmosphere and the magnetic force in our north and south poles create this light show um, that happens in the sky. So it has to do with magnetism and our atmosphere and energy particles from the sun. And they all kind of come together and make this light show in the sky. We, we've, I don't think it's ever been visible in Virginia that I know of. Um, anyway, we're gonna make our own auroras using a wet on wet watercolor technique. Now I usually do this project with chalk pastels and it's usually very beautiful and super messy. So this year we're gonna try our best to do it with watercolor paint and it's not gonna be nearly as messy as it is when I do it with chalk pastels. All right, let me show you how to make your wet on wet aurora background. The first thing you wanna do is wet the watercolor um, colors in your watercolor palette that you think your polar bear would wanna see in his or her aurora picture. Because of course, polar bears in the North Pole can also see the auroras. So um, you wanna work with colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So for example, I am going to use um, uh, blue, a bright blue, a dark blue, I used, I think I used um, a violet from this palette, my violet, and in, in a purpley blue color from this palette. And I also used this reddish pink color. I used reddish orange, orange, and a little bit of yellow. I went a little bit crazy and used a bunch of colors because I wanted you to see how different colors blend together. You do not have to use that many colors. You could just use three colors. Like you could go with um, just like maybe two blues and a green and maybe throw a tiny bit of yellow in there if you want or just two different blues and a green. So it's up to you. I would, I would probably use at least three different colors though because you want you want it to look like an Aurora. Using the largest uh, brush that you have, I'm using a three quarter inch flat brush. You're gonna wet your paper behind your polar bear, trying not to get any clear water on your polar bear. You're gonna wet that background paper um, probably about three inches around him. Um, you don't have to wet the whole paper right now because you don't want it to dry before you start to paint. The Aurora should be shaped like a swoosh or you could make it shaped like a rainbow, or you could make it shaped like a U. You want it to have some kind of movement associated with it. Um, so I started with my red violet color, and now I'm blending in that um, pinkish red color. And I'm not blend. I'm not doing anything except putting that wet paint next to wet paint. I put now I'm putting the orange next to where I had my red violet. I picked up a lighter orange here that I don't like. So I'm gonna go into this truer orange and let that blend in. So I'm just letting the paint mix and blend on the paper and I'm not doing a whole lot to it. And then I just finished with yellow. Now I'm gonna come, in, come up into the top here where my, um, and make my sky a little bit darker with like a bluish blue violet color. If you want to go back over these um, kind of swooshes or stripes of paint with uh, red violet or a lighter color, you can. You wanna make sure you don't go over and over and over your paper too many times because it'll peel up. You'll get those little balls of paper. All right, supplies that you need today are obviously your drawing from last week. You need a watercolor pan, a cup of water. It wouldn't hurt to have a tissue. You can see how dirty mine got. And um, it's better if you have a larger flat brush. Um, this is a three quarter inch or you could use an inch, one inch flat brush or you can use the largest round brush that you have. 
Um, if you didn't get to Sharpie last week, you can Sharpie this week. Um, or you could use black crayon. It doesn't matter to outline your polar bear, either one. If you do that, you wanna make sure that your paper is dry before you use crayon or Sharpie. Uh, wet water will ruin your Sharpie. All right, boys and girls, I hope your polar bear Aurora Borealis pictures come out awesome. I will see you next time. 